The budget battle continues in the General Assembly today and it impacts your children. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman is working for you to break down why the House and the Senate don't think Governor Youngkin's record funding for education is enough. Because we're not making the mark, we are failing our educators. We're failing our students. A harsh reality, according to Virginia Education Association President Dr. James Fetterman. As the Virginia General Assembly looks to finalize the budget, education is top of mind. Governor Glenn Youngkin proposed a record $24 billion for public education. But Fetterman tells me it's not enough. And it certainly positions us better to be able to have salaries that are at or above the national average. But we're ending every year with the same conversation. We didn't make the mark. In the proposed amendments from both the House and the Senate, nearly $1.6 billion more dollars would go towards education than in Youngkin's proposal. Something Democratic Representative Sam Rasool says is crucial. The thinking through how we help uh, the most vulnerable students. Republican delegate Chris Obenshane says the funding specifically addresses a need in early childhood education. Increasing the number of uh, uh, slots available for uh, Virginia Preschool Initiative. I sat down with Montgomery County School Board Chair Linwood Hudson to see how the increased funding would really impact a school system. And how important is this funding in retaining your teachers? If our teachers are continually coming and going because we can't retain them, right, then, then that affects everybody. Um, you know, we don't want to lose them to other counties. We don't want to lose them to other states, right? But, but we're seeing that. Budget negotiations are still in the works and will need to be approved by both the House, Senate, and Governor Yunkin before school systems see that funding. Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.